shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. My water's boiling. Welcome to vlogging. Daily I'm doing it. And I don't have an intro song. So this is it. Welcome in and okay. enjoy it. Bye. All right. It's Tuesday and I have to edit and post my Tuesday video today. So uh, I can't work out. I want to edit first and then work out, which is always risky because I'm never sure I'm going to actually work out because I might get distracted. But I need to make sure I get my Tuesday video up. That's more important than working out today. But I'm, I want to make sure I get my push up set for on day three. Even though I'm not working out, I'm still going to do my push ups, get those in because it only takes a minute and then I will get to editing. sets but you don't have to watch those i did it i finished editing my video for today and then i did my workout <gasps> i usually cannot motivate myself to work out if i've started my work day i either have to do it first thing in the morning or it doesn't happen snoop i'm proud of us i'm proud of us snoop now i'm gonna go pick up some dog poop because you poop a lot you and your brother poop a lot it's a lot of poop all right decided for lunch we're gonna make some gourmet chinese food all right step one get up whatever it's called a plate I personally like the bowl plates. Then, super easy. All you do is you open your fridge, you take out the Chinese leftovers from the night before. This is very crucial. If you don't have this, I don't think you're gonna be able to uh, make Chinese food from scratch at home. So, you find the rice that's already open. Is this one already open? Oh, this is brown rice. That's disgusting. My girlfriend's trying to be healthy. Just, no. Yeah, just a big clump of that. That's great. That's perfect. Then you get your vegetables. That's great. Oh my God. And then your walnut shrimp. It is this easy to make Chinese food at home, everybody. I don't know why more people don't do it. People think it's hard. It's not. Look how simple this is. One, two, three. Boom, okay. Now this is, this is the last crucial step. Put in the microwave. I like to go 45 seconds, stir 30 seconds, blow, take a bite, and they go until it's cool. So that's how you make Chinese food at home. Listen, I know there's probably some little secrets I don't quite know about. This is how I perfected it. I moved my computer into the kitchen. Sometimes I just need to change my environment, you know? Just new things to get my brain going. And uh, I'm going through comments on my main channel video. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize, how rude of me. But some people were like, where are your Christmas decorations? It's November 7th, excuse me, they're coming. Don't worry, relax. We have some pillows on the couch already. Oh, but don't worry, I just got notified. I forgot, I had already started ordering Christmas presents. I started ordering Christmas presents last night. Just cause you don't see the, the, the Christmas spirit doesn't mean it's not there, it's happening. Don't even worry about it. Little dog, no barking, but yeah. I just wanted everyone to know, don't worry. Christmas decorations are coming. Just taking it slow. All right. Also, I don't think I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas until December. I think I might just do December 1st. I don't wanna stress myself out too much. I'm sorry, but I am signing with a new merch company and I'm hoping to launch new merch by Black Friday so you can get a deal. <laughs> I wanna do some holiday merch. I wanna do some Christmas merch. So I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you posted. Also the flip photo contest is live. If you wanna go over to Go Flip app, and enter our contest, except the website's down, so you can't fill out the form right now. We're just everywhere. We're everywhere but here. Everywhere but here right now. My, okay, I'm gonna stand still so I can just Put a flip logo over my bad word. Hello. Hi, how you doing? It's Wednesday morning. I'm finishing up editing Rachel and Censor. My mom's coming over later to film ATI. You know that song? ATM, ATI, ATM. Every time I say ATI, now I wanna go ATI, ATI, ATI. Sorry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> my whole body is sore. And so I'm still gonna do my push ups. We're about to go do my push ups. But then I'm gonna do yoga today instead of weightlifting my body a little break. I didn't work out for over a month. And then I need both hands, so stay still. Flip logo. So I did a small workouts to build myself back up. Please, why do you keep being sad and going outside? He's been pouting all morning. Is it because I didn't take you on a walk? Marnay's coming later. As I say, I'm gonna do yoga today instead of weightlifting. So now you're caught up. Good morning. All right, day four of this. Eesh. My arms are sore. But I'm just gonna work through it because it's not 
that difficult. My whole body's sore. Let's go, son. Two more sets. Get a little closer for me. And there. Okay. Okay. So, yes, Blaze is throwing up. I didn't even tell you guys. I haven't talked to you about that. Blaze is throwing up. I'll talk to you about that later. But right now, we're at the vet because Stevie, over the past two weeks, has progressively started to have more and more like symptoms. We never had cat issues. We've both owned a lot of cats and we've never taken cats to vets. Um, she's had blood in her stool, diarrhea, throwing up, peeing outside the litter box, and now she's super lethargic. So this morning we made the call to bring her in. Well, Stevie, how you doing? Oh, hello. How you feeling? Stressed. We have to drop off a fecal sample tomorrow, uh, but they are giving her an antibiotic and a probiotic. Cancel each other out, sure, why not? But they said it could be a bunch of different stuff. They wanted me to keep her on the dry Imes kibble. I was like, we want to take her off of that because it's not good for her. And they said, yeah, just keep her on that. And then when she's all better, you can slowly transfer to something else. They said it could be a billion different things. It could just be stress related. We don't know. So let's hope the medication helps. And then we can slowly switch her off the bad food and put her on good food. Maybe the fecal sample will tell us something. I've never had to take a cat to the vet before. All right, now you. What's going on with you? You're skinny. You don't have any food in you. You've been throwing up. I noticed today when I was vlogging, he was going in and out of the doggy door like crazy. And I said, sir, why do you keep going outside? And then I put him in his crate because I was like, what are you into? I don't trust you. I'm going to put you in your crate for a second. And I did some yoga. My phone ran out of storage. Anyway, Blaze threw up in his crate while I was doing yoga. I took him outside. And when we were outside, Snoop was eating Blaze's other vomit. And then I was like, get out of here, Snoop. We hosed it down, gave Blaze some water. And when I came back in, Snoop was eating the vomit in the crate. It was the whole disgusting thing. I'm so sorry. He threw up one more time when my mom was here while we were recording ATI. And now I'm not feeding him until this evening. And I'm going to give him a bland diet. Hopefully that works. I called my vet. They're like, sorry, we don't have an opening until the 17th. I was like, if he needs a vet, he'll be dead by then. So great. Neat. Thanks, guys. So hopefully the bland diet works. I got too many sick animals. Now Abby wants me to go help her change the rug under the couch. She bought a different rug and I'm gonna put that old rug in here, hopefully. It goes with the blue. Blaze threw up again. I might have to take him to the emergency vet. We're gonna try the, the chicken, rice, and veggies tonight. But Abby so kindly was like, hey, I saw Blaze threw up. I'm gonna clean it for you. I know you're stressed with work. Just letting you know he threw up again so you can keep track of it, but I'm gonna clean it for you. I knew my rug was dirty, right? But I didn't realize it was this dirty. <laughs> that's the color my rug originally was. And that's just the rest of the rug. Mm -hmm. I'm about to throw out the whole thing. The food is being delivered right now, bub bubs. And then I will feed you, okay? I love you so much. I'm not mad at you. I'm never mad at my animals when they get sick. I always have to try. I have so much patience. We never yell for throwing up. No, 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 no. It's not your fault. But please feel better tomorrow so I don't have to take you to the emergency vet because that costs a lot of money and takes up like the whole day, bub bubs. So please eat your chicken and rice and be good boy, okay? Okay. I came in here for headphones. I could not find my headphones and I need them. Because I have my computer that I'm working on right now in the other room. And I seriously can't, I can't find my headphones. Maybe if this place was cleaned up a little bit. Blaze. All right, let's try and clean and find them. Instacart order just got here. Blaze, let's go make your dinners, okay? Luckily, I know how to boil some rice and chicken, so let's get to it. All right, at the same time I'm doing Blaze's food, I'm also gonna make me and Abby dinner, as I said I would. I'm, so now I'm gonna do that. It's 6.30, it's not gonna be ready till like 7.30, but she's not working, she won't be home till like eight.
Switching gears back to the chicken. Letting out the steam takes forever. It's dark, hold on. There you go, sort of. Um, I'm taking Blaze to the emergency vet. He would not eat his dinner. He also won't sit down. Blaze always eats his dinner. My boys are good eaters, so when they don't eat, I know that means something is wrong, wrong. I have no idea what's going on. He's super lethargic, and he threw up in the crate. Ah. The vet near me is has a four hour wait, but there's a vet 30 minutes away with a one hour wait. So I'm gonna drive out there right now. It is 7.30. The goal is to be home by midnight. I know that sounds like an extensive amount of time and it's because it is. When I get there, it'll be 8, 15-ish. Emergency vets take so long. Let's hope that Blaze and I are both home and on the path to healthiness by midnight tonight. Okay. They're coming out to let me fill out the forms and keep you in the car as long as possible so you don't have to separate from me right away. All right. It's the kind of place that takes him from me. I hate that. Usually with Snoop though, they let me stay with him because I go, um, he's people aggressive. Even though he's he's fine, it's just they have to handle him correctly. And then they let me go back there with him. But Blaze rather hang out with the vet techs than me. He always comes back with being best friends with everyone and they're like, no, Blaze. So I let him go get the attention. Okay, um, they are keeping him overnight. Nope, I'm not gonna vlog right now. <laughs> I don't let the internet see me cry because last time I did, did you throw up on the bed? The TV. I swear we know how to take care of animals. I don't know, when it rains it pours, I guess. Blaze is still at the vet. Uh, I didn't film anymore last night because I don't let the internet see me cry because last time I cried on the internet, people decided to hate me over it. That was a couple of years ago. So almost two actually. So I don't uh, cry on the internet anymore. So now you get me once I've processed and uh, figured my stuff out, but uh, I'm glad I waited till today. Uh, to talk to you so I can finish out the vlog, letting you know the place is gonna be okay. He has pancreatitis. There's a bunch of different ways he could have gotten it, but he is still at the vet. They might keep him another day. He's on IVs, he's on a bunch of different meds. They said that he can come home once he eats, but he doesn't have much of an appetite because he is in pain. And so as soon as he gets an appetite, he can come home and I'm supposed to call back at two today to find out more. So there you go, you have an update. They said he's, they have full faith he'll make a full recovery. So we're out of the woods, he's where he needs to be. I'm glad I took him in and yeah, it was very scary last night. I did not like leaving him there. I haven't had to leave him at a vet in, since he was a puppy, I think. But he is on his path to healthiness and yeah, that's it. So uh, that's the update. I'm about to go actually take Stevie's poop in. I've been giving her her medicine. She is still throwing up though. And I gotta clean the bed now. Still having diarrhea. I don't know. How is Snoop the only one? Actually, okay, little dog's good. But Snoop's the one vibing right now. <laughs> little dog's always good. She had an ear infection a couple weeks ago, but that's fine now. I'll see you tomorrow, guys, with another update. I love you, bye.